Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. It's test number two of Todd Wilbur's Unlock Recipes. That's right, it's called Top Secret Recipes Unlocked, and they're, they're home clones, meaning it's restaurant recipes that you can do at home. All right, so now here's test number two, and we're doing something that I think everybody is aware of. It's called Miracle Whip. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Miracle Whip, so it's gonna be really interesting when I start trying this. But first, got a few giveaways. Last week, uh, I gave away uh, GetMySkin.com, was kind enough to give us two giveaways. So we're going to do it again. Congratulations to uh, last week's winners. Once again, if you want to win a new skin for your laptop, looks just like these. All you got to do is go to my new channel, Jack on the Go channel. It's on the screen. Just click right there. It'll take you right over there. Okay. And hit subscribe. Anybody who subscribes in the next week, I'm going to pick two winners and you're going to get a brand new skin courtesy of GetMySkin.com. Thanks you guys very much for the giveaway. We also have a few viewer pictures that you sent in. Boy, they just keep piling in. You guys, I, I love it. I got uh, Francis's Lazy Man's Omelet right here. Uh, looks, uh, looks interesting. Yeah, very good. Good job, Francis. And then Jamie's Bruschetta. That looks delicious. And then RS Giver 12's Lazy Man's Pizza. Very cool. You guys keep it going. Keep sending the pictures. Uh, send me some video. We'll feed it in. You guys are cooking fiends. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. All right, now let's get to this stuff here. Let's do the Miracle Whip test number two of Todd Wilbur's book. Wow, there sure are a lot of ingredients. Here it is, Kraft's Miracle Whip. These are all the ingredients. You can go to my blog to get the exact recipe. We're using salt, garlic powder, sugar. We're going to use an egg yolk, vinegar, lemon juice, paprika, dry mustard, and canola oil. There it is. You're going to whisk one egg yolk, okay, for 15 seconds. All right, we're going to put that off to the side. Five teaspoons of white vinegar. One, two, three, was it four or five? Four teaspoons. Granulated sugar. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir it till it's all dissolved. You're gonna pour half this mixture you just created into the egg yolk. You're gonna whisk for another 15 seconds. Okay, as I'm stirring or whisking this, as I'm whisking this, I'm gonna slowly drizzle in about half of this cup of oil, okay? We're gonna stop at half, and let's see what happens. All right, I've put in about half of the oil. Now it's time to put in the rest of the vinegar mixture. Okay, I'm too lazy to do uh, to go get my pinch measuring, so I'm just gonna put in a pinch of paprika, a pinch of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. There we go. We're gonna mix this in. Once this is all blended, we're gonna mix the rest of the oil in. Now I hate Miracle Whip, but this doesn't look anything like Miracle Whip. All right, so now we're gonna add the rest of the oil. Okay. <laughs> that looks awfully yellow to me. I don't get it. Now they say to put this in a old mayonnaise jar. So I'm gonna go get a, a curd jar and I'm gonna pour this in. I forgot the lemon juice and I don't want this recipe to be faulted for not being the real thing if I don't add a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice. So I'm gonna add that to our Miracle Whip recipe right now. 
and that's just a little drip. I'm gonna mix it in and then we're gonna put it back in the fridge and it should be flawless. Now, just to give this a fair test, I put this version that I made, okay, Todd Wilbur's version, in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Okay, it's been a day, and now we're gonna take a look at it up close, okay? So as you can see, this version I made is really still loose. I gave this good whisking and I followed all the directions, but it's kind of loose, uh, not quite like, this is Miracle Whip anyway, not quite like that. That's pretty thick stuff. I mean, I, oh, and by the way, I can't stand this stuff, but I'm gonna taste it anyway. So let's do this. We're gonna put a little bit of it out in each, each bowl. And let me see how it smells. Yeah. You know what's funny? They smell similar and they look completely different, but they have almost the same smell. How weird is that? This seems to be too loose. All right, we'll try that. And then we'll take some of this out. We'll try some of that. Now, once again, I can't stand Miracle Whip. I don't even know why I picked this. Oh, okay, I'll tell you why I picked it. Because everybody, uh, Miracle Whip sells like mayonnaise out here. I don't know about internationally, but uh, let's give this a try. Ooh. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's Miracle Whip. If you like Miracle Whip, it's delicious. All right, let's see if it's anywhere close to the flavor of that. Ugh. Okay. Honestly, it tastes. It doesn't taste like it at all. I mean, a little bit, but it. They're both nasty, but this one's too loose. It's not even white, and it doesn't have the flavor profile I'm looking for. It's not close. So I would say that his Kraft Miracle Whip recipe is a no-go. So here's the final score so far. We've got one thumbs up on the Taco Bell sauce. All right, that was our uh, Todd Wilbur test number one. We have one thumbs down on the Miracle Whip. That's this one right here. Are you guys ready to do the third one? It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing gonna be the best recipe of them all so far and we what oh oh my my producer's saying that we have to wait till next week ah what a bummer well in the meantime you guys have a good one I'm gonna find a way to make use of this uh, this miracle whip I'm not really exactly sure oh look here we go <laughs> look at the big ding in my door here I'm just gonna put a little bit right in there oh yeah yeah that's gonna sand up just nice all right, I'm going to do some repair, <laughs> repair work in my kitchen, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.